The carnage continues today as yet another body was found. This will be the tenth victim of the mysterious Kool-Aid killer. For years, he's waited in the shadows. Forgotten. There's a madman loose and he's killing people! This is his calling card. He feels forgotten and he's sending a message by killing everyone that doesn't drink Kool-Aid. So he's basically killing everyone above the age of five. I hate my life. I feel like a lot of people in our generation have seemed to go through a weird internet horror phase as children. I mean, it was kind of hard not to. Not only were creepypasta such as Slenderman super popular, but I mean, stuff like FNAF, The Purge, SCP, and other weird internet anomalies are just really attention grabbing. Especially late at night for some reason. Roblox 10 years ago was not short on horror games at all. There were tons of Slenderman games, tons of creepypasta games, a few SCP games here and there. It's also worth mentioning that boss battle games are asymmetrical games were pretty popular as well. Nowadays you have stuff like Fleet the Facility, but back then there were games like Snake Pillar, The Stalker, The Spectre, Monstrum, Vampire Hunters, Epic Boss Fights, Red 44, Satyr 44, and a lot of others. A lot of old Roblox games have a heartwarming quality to them, not just through its nostalgic lens. A lot of games back then just seemed to focus on working together, or socializing together, or, in a horror context, surviving together. Roblox back 10 years ago saw a lot of teamwork games, but also saw a lot of horror games. Therefore, logically, it only made sense that there would be games that had a combination of these two aspects. Which is where you see games such as Deception Infection, The Stalker, The Spectre, Reason to Die, and... Well, a game that's apparently known to have stuck with a lot of old Roblox players, including me. Cool Killer. Cool Killer is a very weird game to even talk about. It's a survival horror game where you assume the role of a bunch of agents, with one player being randomly chosen to be the titular Kool-Aid Killer. Now, it isn't entirely explained who Cool Killer is, but he is based off of the viral video of the same name, which was made back in 2008 by the same guy who made Annoying Orange. Viral video. Do people even call it that anymore? I mean, back then people were like, bro, your video went viral. But now they just say, your YouTube short blew up last night. <laughs> Pretty much all that there is to know about Cool Killer is that he's a guy who kills people who aren't drinking Kool-Aid. He's sending a message by killing everyone that doesn't drink Kool-Aid. And also uses a variety of weapons. And also has a really weird design. Which I think is the only reason why people remember this game. Also, I realized this as I was making this video, but this monster is called Cool Killer, not Kool-Aid Killer. Because if you Google Kool-Aid Killer, you get a very different result. Anyhow, the game sees you trying to survive from Cool Killer for three minutes as your radio connection goes down. Cool Killer is only like one walk speed faster than you, but younger me didn't really pick up on that fact. The game is mostly just intended to be hide and seek. However, you can also buy items from the shop, such as medkits, pipe bombs, and some random shit like soda. Not Kool-Aid, just soda. That doesn't make much sense now, does it? And he's sending a message by killing everyone that doesn't drink Kool-Aid. Also, you can walk out of the map. There aren't really any borders or anything that prevent you from straight up leaving and spreading out really far. And apparently people were doing this shit 10 years ago as well. After three minutes, your radio connection is restored, and Clone Trooper 1019 phones in and tells you that rescue is coming and that you're going to have to run to the helicopter. And apparently the Kool-Aid killer just kills the pilot off screen, and in return, Clone Trooper 1019 shoots a sniper rifle and kills the Cool Killer, removing all tension from the game. Clone Trooper then sets up an autopilot that's apparently sentient and unfortunately brings up the question of why they even had a human pilot in the first place. And then you get 60 seconds to run to the chopper and there's also limited seats. But, since this is old Roblox, the helicopter just kind of naturally moves and you're able to just stand on it in case of the rare event that you don't get a seat. You see, if this was a story game made in modern Roblox, they would have just like teleported everyone who is sitting to the next area and then killed everybody else instantly, teleporting them back to the lobby unless they paid the game 100 Robux to revive. Then there's a time skip to 5 hours later, where the autopilot informs you that you're flying to some sort of safe haven. But then Cool Killer's ghost shows up on the helicopter's roof, causing the chopper to burst into flames. Also, despite malfunctioning, pleads with the survivors to save themselves and jump, right before the helicopter plummets to the ground and explodes really violently. No! No! 
then there's a long silence, and suddenly all of the pieces of the wreckage start grouping together into a giant pillar that keeps exploding. Everybody grabs a force field until the explosion subsides. Yeah, and then another helicopter phones you in and informs you that a new rescue is coming to get you, and the game ends on a cliffhanger that still has yet to be answered over 10 years later. Which is actually kind of funny because the original ending of the game just said that the survivors ended up building a colony on the island that they crash landed on. Regardless, both of these endings hint at Cool Killer's return that never happened. In terms of overall gameplay, I don't recall any of it being anything memorable other than the helicopter segment, as there isn't much substance to it anyways. Like I said earlier, the only real reason why people remember this game is because of Cool Killer himself. He just had a really interesting and memorable design for a Roblox villain. You see, at the time, most horror games just featured characters from real-life horror films that were popular at the time. I mean, horror games still do this, but trust me, there were a lot of games that featured Ghostface, Jason, and some others, but mostly those two because their movies were still fresh at the time. I mean, yeah, Slenderman and other creepypastas were pretty popular too at the time, but Cool Killer was a creative design. He was meant to crudely resemble the Kool-Aid Man, but for some reason that goddamned face just stuck with so many young and impressionable children at the time. I was literally surprised to see how many YouTube comments were saying that they actually remember Cool Killer and were excited to see a video about him coming up. I myself was unable to forget this game solely because of how Cool Killer looked and presented himself, but I wasn't really able to remember the overall quality of the game. Cool Killer's weapons are rather Interesting, he gets a chainsaw, a knife, a zombie staff, his fists, and an axe that does like zero damage. Also, despite the game being called Cool Killer, its original title was actually Cool Killer 6 The Final Inception, with it actually serving as the final entry in a long-running series made by Clone Trooper in his youth. The first five games that were created were basically just sandbox games in the way that you spawned in with no objective other than just to shoot the Kool-Aid men that would infinitely respawn forever. I have no footage of this because these games were super obscure and I didn't manage to record them before Clone Trooper privated them from his profile, so just take my word for it. Anyways, Cool Killer 6 The Final Inception isn't really connected to the rest of the series in terms of plot, and also Clone Trooper sort of acknowledges this, as the game on his profile is now just named Cool Killer. However, it seems to be a sort of prototype for the Stalker, and in return, the Stalker reborn. I'm still waiting for Part 7. If there are any Roblox developers that are going to reboot Cool Killer, can you guys at least do a sequel? Like, Halloween 2018? Don't remake the exact same game, just please do a sequel, and I'll make everyone so happy. I mean, just bring a conclusion to this series that I've been waiting for for over 10 years. I beg you. Also, if you guys want to check out the game in the description, I'm putting a link to the original, which is broken, and the remasters, which are fixed, but they're still, like, they didn't age well, okay? Anyways, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one, bye. Hey guys, this is Leon. Bredian told me to let you guys know to subscribe to see more videos from him, as his videos often cover niche Roblox games and won't be likely to reach people. So sharing, liking, and commenting on his videos will be especially helpful, whatever that means. Thanks for watching.